welcome back to this side of 40 this is your girl Lou, and we will be doing an update on our journey in gratitude um um so let's get into it first off i am so happy to go on to my second saturday of work since the pandemic began um i'm just feeling so blessed and highly favored um, just to be able to say I'm going to work. Then, second, I'm, I'm just grateful that all of my family is doing well during this season. And I'm, I'm also grateful that God took some of my family members home this year. But he took them out of pain and took them on home with him to be with him. And I'm grateful for that. Even though it hurts when it happens, you have to be grateful because when your flesh is tired, God brings you home. So I'm grateful for that. And I'm also grateful for just all the miracles I have been like watching, receiving um, during this time. I'm just so happy for that. And I can't say enough greatness or great things about anything other than God has provided then the next thing I want to just like kind of I'm grateful for panning um I got on my work makeup look and hold on a minute guys there's something on me there you guys go um so I'm grateful for that. I'm truly just feeling completely grateful for all of those things. I'm also grateful that God has blessed me with the knowledge on how to take care of my own hair during the season and to be able to have somebody who I work with that I trust to cut my hair. Um, it's very, for me, it's very um, stressful. When you get your ends trimmed, it's just very stressful, especially because my hair only grows so much a year, so I have to be trying to retain the length. Then the next thing is, and I just, I really thought about this long and hard. I am so grateful to not have any harsh pains in my body right now. Everybody wakes up with, you know, aching pains, but I'm just grateful that like I'm not suffering from sciatica God has blessed me with that God has been really diligent and not um, letting my left arm hurt me I have a metal rod which depends on my left arm and it hasn't been hurting I'm grateful that the doctor was able to find out what was wrong with me and it's something that can be um, healed just by me taking a vitamin I'm grateful for that I'm also grateful that I don't have half the health problems that um, people are always try to tell you, oh, do you have this or do you have that? I don't have none of those things. The only thing I have currently is just, you know, my bone density is a little bit off, but that's easily fixed by just taking a vitamin, you know? So I'm just truly feeling grateful and highly favored for that. Then I'm also grateful that um, I got a, an amazing staff of people that I work with. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for all of my friends here. Um, I think one of the girls' name, her name is Living for Jesus, uh, her child's name. And Nona's is, I want to say 19 something 77, 1977 or 1987. I'm going to look it up and I'm going to tell y'all but later. But Nona is just so, she's so real and so helpful and um, I'm grateful that I'm able to go through my color stories and my project pens and everything. I realized last night I have four palettes with all purple eyeshadows. Four. So I'm like, I'm just grateful. I'm so grateful. I remember just having the one little neutral palette. And like one day, I think, and I'm going to do it soon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a little bag and show you what my makeup bag looked like. Ricky and I got together like when it was just me and the kids because 
it will allow you to see like how like I really am I have a lot to be grateful for I have a lot to be able to praise for even like the clothing I have now I can praise God for it because I didn't have it before and to be here now and be able to say oh I can get up in the morning and I have more than two pairs of pants to wear at work and you know like just the stress being gone and being able to afford you know nicer things nicer shoes and all that I'm just so grateful to God for that I'm grateful for my mom and my mother-in-law because my mother-in-law she all like all of my jewelry that is costume jewelry she has been the reason why I have it and I'm so grateful for that I'm grateful to my mom because my mom mends my clothes for me so that they can fit properly like my daughter-in-law my mom they both are seamstress and they will fix my clothes for me so I can be able to wear something of of good um fit not an ill fit because they can take it in for me with my height and my waist it, it doesn't line up like I would be a size if I was just going by height I'm a size 26 but my waist is more of like 18 20 so it, it makes it kind of hard but I'm just so grateful for them to be in my life and help me I'm grateful for my sisters because they call me always when something like I just need a ear or a prayer or something like that I'm grateful for that I'm grateful to Ricky for him just being able to go through the season with me and not feel um, any harshness towards me because I am truly one of those people who is like happy every day I get up and go to work I'm grateful to my kids because all of the things I was telling them when they were younger about working and wanting things my girls have all understood it. I'm grateful for my son because he is just like a true gentle giant he's a sweetheart and if he can do it he'll help you and he's always my cooking buddy he likes to cook and he likes to eat so I just truly enjoy that about him and I'm, I'm grateful for my cousins because a lot of my cousins are the people who watch my videos like I, I truly 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 am grateful for that because a lot of people don't realize like all of this that I'm doing is for that and then I'm grateful because October is coming yet again um if you're unaware every year for um October I do breast cancer and awareness month um and I do an eyeshadow look um at least once a week on Facebook and I do a tutorial for it this coming year I want to do one here and one there every week in October on my off day so I'll probably do Tuesdays here and Wednesdays on Facebook and just really give the cancer society people who have had cancer awareness because not just breast cancer there's so many different kinds of cancer out there and last night um yesterday when I got off work I realized Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away and I just pray for her family I hope that you know we can all give them their privacy and the time they need to mourn and she was such an iconic woman and so I'm just you know cancer affects us all in so many different ways and I know a lot of people have had bouts in their family or someone near and dear to them have had bouts with it and for you to be able to say I came out on the other side is a miracle and it's a blessing and I wholeheartedly just can honestly say I'm grateful for that and have the gratitude for that and I'm grateful for just discernment I'm, I'm learning how to when to hold my tongue and when to say something and I'm grateful that God is blessing me with patience and, and humbling me at this time because right now I'm being humble on my clientele basis but I know God is humbling me and he's going to open doors that no one can even see I just have to allow God to come and do, do the part and put not only the prayer to work but like 
just to put the action behind the prayer and really to get the things going that I need to go have going. I'm grateful for it. Like just during the season of having groceries and all those things, I, I wholeheartedly like when all of this started, I was kind of stressed out. But now I'm looking at it and I feel like God has done so many amazing and how dare I not give him his praise in this season. And I'm, I'm also very grateful because I don't know if anybody knows, but I have to take Benadryl pretty much every day or some kind of allergy medicine every day because I have so many allergies. And to wake up and my eyes are not ready, my nose is not bothering me, I'm so grateful for that. And I know, like, while I wasn't working, I didn't want to spend the money because I was like, oh, it's something that I could go without. And I just kind of allow myself just to kind of have a moment where I wasn't buying them just because I wanted to like save the money. And I know you can go buy the generics. I like the ones that are um, don't have the, the dye in them, the gel ones. I like those the most because I seem to have a better result with those. But I'm just so grateful and feeling so highly favored for that. I'm also grateful that I don't, I'm not having any skin irritations during this season because with me having eczema and psoriasis, I'm just so grateful. And I know that with me putting my gratitude out in the air, I know that at times the devil tries to fight you, but I know he will have victory over everything that God is doing for me. I know whatever God got for me, it's already mine. He's already declared it, so I'm so grateful for that. And last and not least, I'm, I'm so grateful for all of you who have subscribed to this channel. I definitely am at a point where I can say, I see the numbers fluctuating, and I'm just grateful for any and everybody who comes here and enjoys the content. I hope to see you guys all soon. I thank you for um, watching. I'll see you guys next time.